Okay, so real quick, this is the arm class I'm gonna take. The one I took yesterday was like intermediate. And it was a 20 minute class, but my arms are a little sore today. So I'm just gonna do this 10 minute one. And if I feel like it's too easy, I'm just gonna do it again for another 10 minutes. So I go through everything once again. But this is on the Peloton app and the trainer is Robin. And I found one of her random videos yesterday and I liked her. So I was like, I'll just take another class by her. So I'm gonna get this started and then um, get on the the treadmill. All right, guys. All right, guys, I finished my walk. I did 38 minutes, 23 seconds. I don't really pay attention to the calories burned because like my Fitbit literally says something completely different. My Fitbit says I burned 288 calories. I don't really care about that. But I walked one mile and a three fourths of another mile. And then my goal is eventually by the end of this week. So today's Monday. So my goal by the end of this week is to get up to walking two miles a day. So we'll see how it goes, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I put in the smoothie. So I use this glass. Please ignore my dog. There's people outside and she just will not be quiet. But I need to eat. I'm starving. So we're just going to go and ignore her. I have about five cubes of ice in there to make it more smoothie, slushy consistent. Not slushy, more smoothie, milkshakey consistency. Peanut butter. This is the Fairlife protein shake that has 30 grams of protein. And then in here is frozen bananas. I literally slice like five pieces of a banana and use that one little hunk. So like I get the banana flavor, but it's not like too overpowering and not too high carb. And then for peanut butter, I use one spoon of peanut butter and I'll show you as I put it in the blender. My, um, if you have seen the video, obviously it's darker now because my little light is dying and I have my, um, vanity mirror right here, but I just wanted to pop one. I just finished recording my bariatric video, updating you guys on how much weight I've lost and how I'm feeling. I think I tried to like keep it very short or as short as possible. Probably forgot a lot of things, probably was all over the place, but this is my first time recording a sit down video in a while. I stuck to the main points and I think I got most of the information out there. But if you have any more questions, either after you've seen that video or just now, since you're watching this vlog, please comment them down below or comment them in that video and I'll definitely get you guys the information you need. But yeah, so now we're moving on to the next part of what I eat in a day and I'm gonna show you guys what I am eating for lunch today. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and make this clip pretty quick cause I know the light's gonna die again. But what I'm eating for lunch today is salad so i had part of the salad yesterday and then i got this chicken from sam's club it's like their chicken breast that's like rotisserie flavored so i have it in this container here um it's limited time unfortunately so i don't know how long they're gonna have it so if you have a sam's club membership definitely try this chicken but i'm just gonna show you guys like the portion of like how much i'm portioning out for someone who's basically six weeks out from bariatric surgery so I like I think I mentioned it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. Follow the directions of your dietitian, surgeon, program, etc. I can tolerate salad right now. That does not mean if you are six weeks out that you'll be able to tolerate salad. I'm also not looking for advice from anyone. Please do not comment and tell me what I should or should not be eating. This is what works for me, okay? Okay. Moving on. So I'm gonna show you guys what I put in my salad and then we'll go from there. So this is the size of bowl that I'm using for reference. This is like, um, it's not a normal, let me get a normal size bowl and show you guys. Okay, so for reference, this is like our normal size salad bowls and like this is the bowl I'm using. So you can kind of see that this is like smaller than this one. So I'm just saying that because this is a smaller bowl. So if it looks like super full, just know for reference, it's like compared to this bowl, it's smaller. Okay, so for reference, at this stage, my program says like you should be able to eat between a fourth a cup to a half a cup of food. I don't really know if this is, con I think this would be like a half a cup of chicken. One piece of this chicken is like really huge, but 
I'm gonna show you guys. So this piece is pretty big, but this is about the amount of chicken protein I'm gonna put into it. I'm not measuring or anything. I was measuring when I first started, but once you're doing it every day, you can kind of eye gauge it. Again, if you're one of those type of people who like the measurements help you stick to it, then do that. I also am really good at if I feel full, I stop eating. So do what works for you. But I'm gonna heat this chicken up and then I'm gonna add the salad on top and mix it up. Okay, so now that the chicken is heated up, I have one of these bags. I think it was like full, maybe it's to here. And then I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of this lettuce. Um, I'm just gonna pour a good amount into the bowl. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to eat all that lettuce. So I poured maybe half of what was left, a little less into here. And then I am going to use the cheese that came in the package. And then, as you can see, yesterday I barely used any of this dressing. I just put a little bit for like flavor. And then that's really it for my salad. So I'm just gonna mix this up so y'all can see some of it. <coughs> All the chickens like at the bottom. Which is annoying. But like, this is my lunch if it could focus it like keeps trying to focus on my face okay this is my lunch it's just literally a chicken um i just blinked out but it's literally just a chicken salad a salad with chicken in it oh my gosh with um i get the chopped one because i've maybe that's why i can process lettuce better but it's just a chopped um peppercorn ranch kit and literally this is lasting me three days, like the one kit. And before surgery, I could eat one whole bag for lunch. So that gives you an idea of my portion sizes now. Just like mixing this up a little bit better. Um, I'm eating like, I guess you could say, based off the salad, one third of what I was eating before. And then I'm just gonna literally pack the rest of this in for lunch for work tomorrow. I'm just gonna dump this into a container and then have that for my lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna to have to pack a separate, oh, I'm gonna to have to pack separate cheese, unfortunately, because I did finish the cheese, but I still will have the ranch dressing left over and I have all that rotisserie chicken I showed you. So that's what I eat for lunch, and then hop back on later and show you guys what I eat for dinner. Okay guys, so last meal of the day, I'm gonna show you comparison, like my husband's plate versus my plate of what we're eating for dinner. So for dinner, we're having spaghetti squash with like ground turkey, spaghetti sauce, green peppers, yellow onion and then he has green beans and then garlic toast on his plate i'm just eating the spaghetti squash and the meat sauce so i will show you that once his is a hang up and then i'll show you mine once i make my plate okay so this is his plate he has two pieces of garlic toast green beans and then the spaghetti squash with meat sauce and then i'll show you my portion so i'm using the same bowl that i showed you guys earlier so this is about how much squash like spaghetti squash i'm putting in there and then I'll show you how much meat I'm putting in here. So this is the meat. It looks like a lot, but it's literally just spread out over the whole bowl. So it's not like thick wise, but like I spread it out evenly. All right guys, so that wraps up what I eat in a day. And then I will see you guys either tomorrow or later this week to wrap up the weekly vlog. Bye. Hi guys, just wanted to pop one real quick and I wanted to show you guys how much of the food I actually was able to eat because I wasn't able to finish it, but David, <laughs> David ate it. So, David, don't give me a dirty look. Why are you telling me? I'm not telling you. I asked him to finish it because I couldn't finish it, but I wanted to show you. I ate, what do you think, like half of that bowl? You think it was like half? <laughs> 75. I ate, no, I got eat 75% of it. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Good morning, guys. So it's 5.30 and I'm up. So I have a new morning routine. I don't know why I said 5.30. It's 5.26, <laughs> but 5.30, close enough. But I have a new morning routine, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. So when I wake up in the morning, I get up at 5. I just made it downstairs. And as you can tell, I'm not ready for work yet. But this is what helps me, like, not have anxiety in the morning. Um, I, have sl I do a slower morning, so I just take my time getting ready. So I came downstairs, I'm about to have my cup of coffee and I'm gonna journal. And that like really helps me with my anxiety. Like anything I'm worrying about, I just write it down. And it just helps me like calm down in the morning, honestly. Like I'm not laughing, like to be funny, I'm laughing out of like 
nervousness for sharing this, but um, I'm just gonna sit here, journal, write down how I'm feeling, write down any thoughts I have. Um, going through this surgery has given me a lot of anxiety, just fear of the unknown. And I'm the type of person, like, I like to know everything. <laughs> I like to prepare for any type of negative type of consequence or anything. So, like, not knowing if I could end up having an issue with the surgery. I see a line, a lot of people talking about how they developed hernias and stuff like that. Um, just journaling in the morning has helped me, like, calm down a lot. Also, I feel like I've been sicker since I've had the surgery. A lot of people say, like, they haven't been sick, but I... I think I already told you, like, I was down for a week because my husband was sick and then I got sick and I still don't feel 100% yet. And it could be because I'm still so early out in my journey, but I just like to journal. So I'm going to do that for about 20-ish minutes, go get ready. And my goal is to leave my house, like, by 6.15. So if I don't pop back on because that means I'm running a little behind, I will see you guys when I get home from work. All right, guys, it is 6.13. I'm, the dogs are eating right now. And then I'm gonna run out the door. I just wore something very simple to work. I have on this necklace I got from Target. Um, this long sleeve t-shirt from Old Navy and jeans and then um, Nike Air Maxes. And I'm gonna head to work and I will talk to you guys hopefully when I get off today, but we'll see. Hi guys, it's still Monday, home from work. I'm at, my hair's up obviously. <laughs> I am about to do a workout. I just gotta figure out if I'm gonna do, the, I think I'm just gonna do the same one I did last time. So I'll flip the camera around and show you guys what the workout is I did last time. And then I'm gonna walk on the treadmill. And then yeah, then I'm gonna shower, pack, I already packed our lunches. I just need to pack my breakfast. And then that's really it for the evening. And now we're on to the treadmill. Good morning guys. It's another, what is today? Thursday now? Yeah, Thursday. David, don't shrug like you don't know. You know it's Thursday. I am about to have my coffee and do my journaling. I just wanted to show you guys how good my coffee looks because I am really trying. I, I Last year, I didn't really buy from coffee shops that much. Like I would get Dunkin' Donuts like on the weekends every once in a while. But now I used to be like, I used to get coffee at work like three times a week, but I don't do that anymore. But I'm gonna show you guys how my coffee looks. This is my coffee. It's a, uh, I use Cafe Mocha, Cafe Mocha, <laughs> Cafe Mocha creamer. And then I put it to like here. And then coffee and then sweet cream cold foam. Hi guys, I don't even know how I look right now or in the camera because I got my eyes dilated, which is why I have my sunglasses on. And I'm literally sitting in the parking lot listening <laughs> to Love is Blind because I can't see right now. Um, Y'all. By the time you see this, like, Love is Blind's been out for a while, so you should already seen that. Um, So, spoiler alert, in case you haven't. So, literally fast forward, like, a good minute. But y'all, I just got to the part where Ken and Brittany broke up. I was not expecting that. Out of all the couples, I was not expecting that. But now after he like explained why he knew, like basically she's not attracted to him is what I'm gathering from it. Or because she said she's not feeling an excitement or like want to be affectionate with him. So I'm thinking she's not attracted to him. Um, You can kind of see that. It feels like she was definitely trying hard. But y'all, I really thought they were going to make it. Like, based on the first six episodes, because now Netflix just released the other six episodes um, yesterday. I I did not expect it to them to be the ones to be like, it's not working. I mean, this is as far as I've gotten, so I don't know what other couples stay together or broke up. But, y'all, I, I can't believe it. So, I'm going to go back to um watching the rest of this episode in the car. And hopefully by then I'll be able to see better so I can, like, actually drive home. <laughs> but... I'm sure. Hey okay, guys, update. <laughs> I went home. I can see now. I went home. I finished Love is Blind. It was only two or three episodes they released today. I thought it was going to be like the whole entire season. Y'all. First of all, why is Jeremy like that? Like, you, she's basically, Sarah Ann is basically your ex. Why are you hanging out with your ex till five in the morning? That's all I have to say about that. Um, so, I went to Costco because tomorrow's David's birthday. So, I was like, I'm getting him a PS5. Like, he, David is, like, one of the most selfless people ever. He never buys himself anything he wants. And he's wanted a PS5 since it's come out. And I think that was, like, what, four years ago? Three years ago? And he will not get it. Like, there's been so many times I'm like, David, just get your PS5. And he's like, no, I'm just going to save the money or I'm going to do X, Y, Z with the money. 
So I'm like, you know what? This is his 30th birthday. I'm getting him the damn PS5. I go to Costco because I have always seen them. Like, they have the little, like, folder. Not folder. Like, the cardboard cutout they used to take to the desk, like, to go buy. I go there. They don't have it anymore. They only have Xboxes now. So I literally, like, go to the car and I'm like, oh, my God. Because I want to surprise him with it. I don't want to have to take him with me to go get it. And I, like, Google you know ps5s or whatever and now sam's club has it and they have it with like a spider-man game bundle or whatever i'm like oh my god because his like we use his mom's <laughs> we use his mom's sam's club card because like, we already paid for costco damn it okay but i'm like i can't wait till he gets home to get the card from him to he's gonna know so i literally purchased a sam's club membership <laughs> to get him this ps5 but luckily sam's club had a deal for like if you've never been a member before your membership for the year's 20 dollars. so i'm only paying 20 extra dollars for this damn ps5 and it comes with a game so it's still a deal because i think it's like said online sam's club has it for 4.99 and a games are like 70 bucks and the game comes with it free so girl math right but i'm mad because i went all the way home went to to costco near my home had to come back on the opposite side of town like a completely different town honestly um a different city to come to sam's club and i was in this city this morning for my eye doctor's appointment so i've just been driving all over but it's for david's birthday so i'm at walmart right now because i need to go buy him a birthday card and then i'm gonna go to sam's club if they do not have this ps5 in stock I like I should have called before I even purchased the membership I should have called and be like do y'all have them in stock like I can leave with it today but I feel like they're not ps5s are not just selling out like that anymore so they should have them but it's been a crazy moment so I'm gonna go in Walmart it's actually like pretty crowded like I'm pretty far in the parking like back in the parking lot away from the door like it's full as always and it sucks because like I could have done grocery shopping today I don't know what the hell I need <laughs> Like, I'm so unprepared for the day. This is a bad use of my day off um, as, like, preparedness-wise. Because I'm going to end up going to Walmart again this weekend to get groceries or whatever. And I could have got them today. Like, I don't know what I need. Like, I know a few things I need. But it's like, I'm not going to grab a few things and then still have to go back to the store again. So, I'm not even going to grocery shop. I'm just going to literally go in, get this birthday card, and then go to Sam's Club and go home. And I'm just going to call it what it is. It's, it's over. But yeah, so if you guys don't see me today, well, I'll come back and let you know if I got the PS5, but you guys will definitely not see me tomorrow, which is Friday because it's David's birthday and we're just hanging out with his family on his birthday and I don't, I'm not going to shove my phone in anyone's face. Um, so I'll probably see you guys Saturday once we go shopping. But yeah, I, I just cannot believe the day I'm having. It's a time. And then David's texting me. He's like, how's your day going? Because <laughs> he knows I'm home from my eye doctor appointment. I'm like, it's good. He's like, you should take a nap. And I'm like, you're about to see me on the camera leave the house again. But he didn't text me yet, like, where are you? <laughs> so, um, yeah. And this person, this guy in the parking lot was literally watching me talk to myself. And he just gave me this dirtiest look. So, yeah, time to go. And, um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later and let you know that I got the PS5. Okay, guys. Secured his birthday gift. Here it is. I may try to film his reaction, but I don't know. If I remember to pull my phone out, honestly. But this is what I got him. PS5, an extra controller, and the Spider-Man 2 game. The only thing that was so annoying about this was online. Sam's Club says they have a bundle where you get the game and the PS5 for $4.99. In stores, they don't have that, so I had to buy it separately. It is what it is. I wanted to get him this for his birthday, so I didn't care. I cared about the price, but I didn't care if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, it was annoying that they don't match their online pricing. But, like, either way, I was going to get it for him regardless. So... I just hope he enjoys his birthday gift. Like, he deserves it. He's turning 30. So, I hope this is a good 30th birthday gift for him. Hey, guys. So, it's Saturday. We just got home from grocery shopping. So, I want to show you really quickly what we got. Because we're actually running out. So, I can take David to, like, his birthday lunch. And then, we're going to a concert tonight. So, hopefully, if my phone is charged. Because it's actually dying right now. So, if in between all that, I remember to charge my phone. I will show you guys. But, I've never heard of this band. It's a metal rock band. They're called pantera i think i mean i like rock music so i just don't know how heavy metal they technically are so we will see but um just want to show you what we got we went to costco and walmart today we didn't go to giant actually so i'll just show you what we got so from costco we stocked up again on david's yogurts that he 
um, eats for breakfast every morning. Milk, because I am going to be making a different type of smoothie. I'm getting tired of having chocolate um, protein shakes every morning for breakfast. If, cause I just, right now I have an ick with eggs. So it's very rare the days I do eat eggs. So it was approved on the list from my dietitian. And this is the Isopure Zero Carb Protein and each, I think you just use one scoop and each scoop has 25 grams of protein. So I'm gonna make fruit smoothies. And I'm gonna, I got this bag as well. Um, mixed fruit and it has mangoes, pineapples, peaches, and strawberries. So I'm just going to make that in the mornings for breakfast this week. I'll let you guys know how they turn out. And then we got some chocolate covered almonds, mayo for, um, me making tuna, tuna fish salad, tuna salad. I don't know what people call it. That. We just call it tuna fish, but I don't know. Um, making that for lunch this week and that's all we got. Oh, and then also from Costco, I got... And this is Meyer's hand soap. David does not like scented soaps, but I love them. And so I told him, I said, you don't have to use them, but I'm going to use them. And then we got these, which I saw. I've never seen them there before, but these sounded really good. They're low carb and they're high protein. These are the real good um, 18 bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos with cream cheese mozzarella wrapped in thick cut bacon. And for two pieces, it's 20 grams of protein. So I'm like, I honestly could eat two of those for lunch. Like it would be enough to fill me up and it's 20 grams of protein. So I don't know when we're going to try these, maybe like on the weekend or something. But that's all we got from Costco. And then Walmart, I'm making David, he loves like homemade mac and cheese. So I'm making that for his birthday, like dinner cooked meal tomorrow. So I just got the stuff I needed for that. But I don't want to tell you what I got because if any of my friends are watching this, they're trying to figure out my mac and cheese recipe. So I can't show you all the ingredients, but I got stuff for that. And then I got crystal lights, lemonade, and then they had raspberry lemonade today. I love, before I had surgery, I loved water. I was a huge water drinker. It had to be ice cold though. Sometimes now, even if it's ice cold, I can't, I still, a lot of people said after they had surgery, they can only drink room temperature water. No, I still need ice cold water, but water is giving me an ick sometimes like just plain water so they said to you can add like crystal light or something similar like um the dietitian so i got those and then i got spearmint tea what else did we get i got coffee creamer i can david doesn't drink creamer in his coffee i can't drink black coffee so now we have to get the smaller bottles so i saw this it's the salted caramel brownie by Coffee Mate. Never seen this flavor before. I really hope it's good. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna taste like caramel and chocolate. That's what I would assume. I don't use that much creamer in my coffee anymore, but even still like one tablespoon is five carbs. So that's fine. And then what else did I get? I'm sorry, I'm just like looking over. Cookie dough. David really wanted some vanilla ice cream because his sister made him a birthday cake, so he's been eat he's gonna be eating that. And then I got the light and thick Greek vanilla yogurt for my smoothies to add in. Cause I don't know, I'm gonna try it with just vanilla and the powder and just see, but I feel like I'm gonna need at least like a, I might not even need three fourths cups of this, but something to make it more creamier. Um, but light and fit, which the dietitian said to get. And then, cold fold cold foam creamer on coffee because since i do not put as much creamer anymore i just need something in my coffee and so i've been using these cold foams by international delight i've tried the french vanilla and the sweet cream i think the sweet cream is my favorite but i also saw they had a caramel macchiato flavor so i'm gonna try that maybe i'll try that with the chocolate brownie this week and let you guys know what i think but yeah, that's everything that we got from our grocery haul. I'm gonna put this away, take David to his birthday lunch, and then that's about it. And then hopefully I'll see you guys tonight. But if I don't see you tonight, then that's the end of this vlog, and I will start a new vlog tomorrow.